water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years passed and my brother and I discovered the new Avatar, an airbender named Aang. And although his airbending skills are great, he has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. But I believe Aang can save the world. Yes! Finally! It only took me 26 episodes. I'll bet most people could do that after like five episodes. Previously on Avatar. Oh, we got a recap? This is the first. You need to find someone who waits and listens. But what about my vision? It was someone I had never met. Right, that's not solved yet. The blind bandit. It's pricey, but I really do like it. Then you should get it. You deserve something nice. Aww. I do, don't I? That was sweet. No. <laughs> Ang's face. I think the boulder is gonna win back the belt at Earth Rumble 6. Excuse me, but where is this earthbending tournament exactly? It's on the island of Nunya. Nunya business! <laughs> oh! Got him, I guess. Wait up! I don't need a new bag. Why'd you let me buy this? You ready to find an earthbending teacher? Because we're going to Earth Rumble 6. How'd you get them to tell you? Did she beat them up oh, with water? A girl has her ways. <laughs> Yeah. The boulder's gonna win this in a landslide. Respect the puns, respect them. Better moles, fade, something through the tunnels. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I have all the songs stuck in my head still. You guys think this is a joke? You know how many times I had to listen to those songs while editing? You guys keep posting comments about Secret Tunnel as if there's ever a moment where that song isn't in my head. The moment you've all been waiting for. Your champion, the Blind Vision! Someone who listens. She can't really be blind. It's just part of her character, right? I think she is. I think she is going down! Nope. The She's gonna win, and that's her new teacher. Conflicted about fighting a young blind girl. But she's a champion, so. Whenever you're ready, the pebble. <laughs> It was the master calling out to him. It's but on. why the swamp? <laughs> nice, you can feel it. <laughs> nice, that's a good cool touch. I like this girl. Your winner and still the champion, the Blind Bandit! She waited. And listened. And listened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm offering up this sack of gold pieces to anyone who can defeat the Blind Bandit! Do it, Ang, or Katara. There we go. Do people really want to see two little girls fighting out here? Oh! <laughs> Damn! What's your fighting name? The fancy dancer? It's not a bad name. Ah! Please, listen. Did he just get all that money? Just leave me alone. I'm assuming this is gonna be his teacher. I really like how she defies expectations. You're set up to mentally follow the sequence of masters from Zhang Zhang to I forgot the waterbender's name, but they're both old men. And then you have Little Blind Girl. Now I'm really glad I bought this bag. It matches the belt perfectly. That is a big relief. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows where she goes or who she really is. I saw a girl in a white dress with a pet flying boar. Well, a flying boar is the symbol of the Bay Fong family. Oh, wait. Okay, so the girl wasn't actually in the swamp. The swamp is showing him what he wanted because it's connected to the universe. She must have took a dive and split the money with the kid. Get out of here, or I'll call the guards. We all have to do our part to win this war, and yours is to teach Aang earthbending. Guards, help! What's her deal? I'm pleased to hear that Toph's private lessons are going well, but I want to be sure she's not trying anything too dangerous. I'm keeping her at the beginner's level. Basic forms and breathing exercises. And mixed martial arts tournaments. You have a visitor. Who thinks they are so important they can just come to my home unannounced? Damn. The Avatar, sir. Blow on it. It's too hot for her. Allow me. 
Oh, she's coddled. How much longer do you think the war will last? I'd like to defeat the Fire Lord by the end of summer, but I can't do that without finding an earthbending teacher first. Off is still learning the basics. Oh, I'm sure she's better than you think she is. Cute. Oh no. <laughs> Got him. What's your problem? Oh, let's get it all out in the open. Let's call a truce, okay? Even though I was born blind, I've never had a problem seeing. I see with earth bending. I feel the vibrations in the earth. I can see where everything is. You, mm -hmm. That's cool. That tree, even those ants. Wow. That's amazing. Then why stay here where you're not happy? Where else am I supposed to go? You could come with us. That'd be great. I would love that. I really like her character so far, but I can't exactly say why. Something about her, it just exudes confidence. Again, I think it comes back to the character kind of being centered around being very capable, being very talented, being very powerful. And then the fact that she hides that or is okay not flaunting her abilities. It just makes her seem so cool. We also have the reluctant teacher here, again. This came up the first time with Zhang Zhang. Zhang Zhang had personal problems that he was coping with. For Toph, it seems like she lives in this stifling environment because her parents baby her and don't let her do anything, even though she's quite capable. And so her outlet, I guess, her escape, is moments where she can feel powerful and respected. And I think that teaching Aang maybe puts that in jeopardy. And she doesn't want to lose that because it's one of the outlets that gives her life joy and meaning. But the net effect of that is that she just seems really cool. Long story short. I would be very happy if she joined the party. I also love the contrast shown between her and her father, because her father was shown as someone who thinks very highly of himself and, and his position, but she's very unassuming, very humble. She just wants to be left alone and do her thing. Personally, I'm drawn to people who are mild-mannered, but self-assured. For people who are more on the neurotic side like me, that kind of thing can be very appealing. There's a stability that comes with it that has its own gravitational force. She also knows who she is, which is really cool. How many people know who they are and know what they want? Oh, metal. I think you kids owe me some money. This is not gonna end well for this guy. If you want to see your daughter again, bring five. Oh, it's legit Chinese. She must be so scared. You think she's you're not... so tough? Why don't yeah. you come up here so I can smack that grin off your face? I think the Fire Nation will pay a hefty price for the Avatar. Toph, there's too many of them. We need an Earthbender. She is blind and tiny and helpless and uh -oh. fragile. She cannot help you. Yes, I can. There's only so much you can take repressing your nature. I beat you all before and I'll do it again. Wait. They're mine. She waits and she listens. Neutral gin. Cool. That's terrifying. <laughs> She's like a velociraptor or something. This is great. This is really well done. I like this a lot. I never knew. Your daughter's amazing. <laughs> it's not a good teacher then. We didn't know that. I love how they're animating her movements. Oops, screwed up. She's the greatest earthbender I've ever seen. The obedient little helpless blind girl that you think I am just isn't me. I love being an earthbender. I hope it doesn't change the way you feel about me. And they got really lucky, honestly, because I think most of the time if you do that to somebody, or if you do this to yourself, if you isolate yourself and don't take risks and kind of keep yourself sheltered, you end up becoming more vulnerable. There are more threats to you. You need exposure to the world to help grow strength. Similar to being exposed to illness so you can develop antibodies. The world works the same way. Socialization works the same way. People who are overprotected, they end up being delicate a lot of the time. So this almost seems like a survival instinct from her that she was able to focus on earthbending and become powerful despite the fact that she's so sheltered. The world's a dangerous place and you will you might feel responsible if something bad happens to your kids. But as someone who has lived, who has grown up, the best teacher for me by far hasn't been 
people telling me things or books or anything like that. It's been me having direct exposure to difficult situations and learning how to overcome them. So it's cool that she is able to become so badass despite that. And it's interesting to think that her strength comes from earthbending, which is maybe the one risk that her parents took with her because they consider it dangerous. I hope it doesn't change the way you feel about me. Of course it doesn't change the way I feel about you, Toph. It's made me realize something. I uh -oh. bet you have far too much freedom. No. From now on, you will be cared for and guarded 24 hours a day. Wait a loser. That bodes well for me because that suggests that she's going to run away with them. Goodbye, Aang. No, she's too strong. Just from what little I know of her so far, I think that she's too strong to accept that. Yes. Ha! What are you doing here? My dad changed his mind. He said I was free to travel the world. No, he didn't. You're going to be a great teacher, Toph. Cool, I'm glad. The Avatar has kidnapped my daughter. I want you to do whatever it takes to bring her home. So they have a new enemy as well. A new friend and a new enemy. Nice, I'm really happy that she joined the crew. They did a really fantastic job introducing her character. It's beyond me how they did that. Just from the first couple minutes of her being in the show, I wanted her to be part of the show full time. <laughs> That definitely mixes things up a little bit, having a new character in the ensemble. I like that. All right, let's go to the next episode.